Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be creating a GoPro mount for the Diatone Taycan 3-inch Cinewhoop. And one thing that I find frustrating with these 3-inch Cinewhoops is that they are purposefully designed to carry an HD camera on the top to get stabilised footage. But the majority of them don't come with a mount so that you can put your HD camera on the top. And to an extent I can see why they do it because action cameras come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes but I can't help think that they could come up with some kind of universal mount like the Flywheel Chasers 138 where it just had sort of like an angle and then you could put a strap around it and then pretty much any camera can go on the front and it worked well. Now Diatone do sell mounts for different action cameras so we've got the Hero 8 here and if we look down here then I think we have got some more so that is actually the Hero 6 one thing that is really annoying is that GoPro from the Hero 5 have retained the same shape but on the Hero 8 they have changed the shape at the top so Usually I would just go and buy one of these mounts, but I'm a little bit strapped for cash at the moment and I've got a 3D printer, so I thought I would make one myself. I say make one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some files off Thingiverse and I'm going to remix them. So really this is a video on how to remix parts for FPV. So if you're not interested in that, then that's fine. Go and watch Tiger King or something like that. But I do it in a really simple and straightforward way that I think most people with a 3D printer who are just 3D printing stuff and not creating their own files could do themselves. So the 3D printer that I've got is the Creality CR10. It's a little bit old now. I think the Ender 3 is more popular than this one, but it does the job. The only thing that I have changed is I've added an adhesive glass bed. So this is like masking tape, but it never works. So you have to put Pritt stick on there or hairspray and that still doesn't work. So I use this Anycubic glass plate here and when printing PLA which is what I'm going to be doing today by the way because I really struggle with flexible filament so this is making a GoPro mount without a flexible filament and it's also going to fit a GoPro Hero 7 or a GoPro 8 that's why I wanted to do this video but yeah this is great for sticking PLA to or anything really without having to use hairspray or making a mess or anything like that and it doesn't break the bank either. So Thingiverse is a website where designers can upload their 3D printed design and they very kindly allow you to download it and print it on your own 3D printer. This is a GoPro Hero 8 mount for the Taycan by somebody called Dom's Mod and it looks fantastic but I want to be able to use my Hero 5 all the way up to the Hero 8. Another thing with these 3D printed GoPro mounts is that the majority of the time they require you to print with a flexible material and I don't like printing with a flexible material. I find it difficult to do. I can do it but I just don't like it. I want this to be simple as well. I want it to print off in a couple of hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the base from Dom's Mod's design and I'm going to remix it with this other design. So this is a Hero 7 mount from somebody called M490 FPV and I'm just looking here and if I can sort of take up to about here and cut it off the Hero 5 all the way up to the 8 is about the same shape from the bottom but you can see we've got this cut out here so I can take a strap and then put the strap all the way around the camera and it's at 10 degrees which is perfect for these cine whoops. The only thing that I need to do is cut off this top part and also cut off here now the way I believe that this connects to the frame at the back is it's got a hook 
at the bottom because as I say they usually say print these out of TPU or flexible material I'm not going to do that so I thought what I could do is take the base from this one which has got screws at the back and then the top from this one and plonk it on the top cut the top off and hopefully this will make a great all-round GoPro mount for the Taycan and I'm going to create it by using a free piece of online software called Tinkercad it's by Autodesk and it's sort of like the child's play version of Fusion 360 which is also made by Autodesk and it looks a little bit unprofessional because it is something that is done through a web page but I can tell you I have made made a lot of 3D printed designs doing this and it's very simple in fact if we come down here I can show you I made an entire 3D cockpit and pod for my RC drift car that I've been working on. So I'm going to create new design and then it should just load up here and then this is the build plate and it's really simple to use but I'm gonna just go straight into it so if I press import here like that I can import an STL file so if we go back to here and then download the file so I want to download the base that's downloading there and then I just want to download the mount there let's go for this one here so download there and that has completed so if I just close that if we go back to Tinkercad and go to the download folder there we go so if I just take the base and put that in there and import leave everything the same and it might take a while just to import but there you go we have got the base I'm gonna work on this first but we can import as many things as we want so now that's in there, I'm actually going to rename the project's name because it always gives it a silly name. Let's call it the Taycan Mount, like that. So the next thing I want to do is get rid of this top part. So we've got some objects down the side here. I'm going to select this box which creates a hollow space. So I'm going to create it bigger than this base plate here just by dragging these points here at the corners just so that it fills everything and hopefully the designer of this worked in millimeters so what I'm going to do is have the snap grid to one millimeter and then when you see this triangle here I can lift that up by the millimeter and hopefully when it gets to yeah, three millimeters there you can see that it's going to cut that top part off so I can now group that and press the group button and that'll get rid of that you see now it's left this hole in the middle there but that's not a problem because I can take a box here so this is solid and you can actually change it from a hole to a solid from up the top here as well and what I'm going to do is just slide that along in here and just drag it to the point where that hole is and I'm going to this time lower it from here so not that one because that would drop it below the plane and I'm just going to level it there and that's three millimeters and just looking in close to make sure that that's okay it doesn't really need to be that neat but why not let's Put it in the middle as much as I can and again I can group that if I want I don't need to do it at this point but there you go so it leaves this here but that won't be there when I 3d print it so the next thing I'm going to do is import the other file so if I go to file explorer and select the 10 degree GoPro mount for the Hero 7 I should put it on there hopefully but it's facing the wrong way so if I select it there we've got these arrows here if I click the arrow we've got a number and I think it's going to be minus 90 for that yep so that's flipped it around there 
But the problem with this part are the clips underneath. So I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to grab one of these boxes here and make it roughly the same size. So just by dragging that there and it doesn't need to be quite so wide and obviously bring the height down a little bit and just going to stretch that across there so you can see that it is covering the base I don't want that so what I want is to select that and bring it down is that in millimeters though let's have a closer look so I'm just zooming in here. Something you can do as well if you press Control Shift and then I'm using the right mouse key is I can move along like that. So yeah, that does look right to me. Let's see if it needs to cut anything off. Let's just zoom in on that actually. Is that, is that cutting in slightly to the base? You can usually tell if you zoom in. Yeah, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is group that again. Now something you have to be careful when you're working with two is it's very easy to do that and then group. But what you don't realize is you're also grouping the base. So you need to change your perspective using the right hand mouse key. And I'm just going to select that and then group. And that will get rid of the base. But what I also want to do is get rid of these here as well. I mean, I could leave them there for support. I'm definitely leaving this back part for support. But this front part here, I don't want. So what I'm going to do again is take another one of those hollow boxes and make it about the same size as the mount. And just move it forward slightly. Now this is a 10 degree GoPro mount. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this angle is at 10 degrees. But we'll see. So if I select that there and then do 10 and then enter. Hmm, doesn't quite look enough. What I need to do is just drag this here. And that's going to go in front. And let's just see. Now it's an interesting one there. Because 10 degrees has cut some of this off. So does it need to go 1 degree more perhaps? Doesn't matter if some of it is cut off. But see how it resets to 0 degrees there. So I'm going to have to do 1. There we go. I think 1 has done it there. And... I am going to cut a little bit of the front off just so that it is neat. So if I move out again and again select that without selecting the base and then group it like that and that gets rid of that. So now I just need to place this over the top here and what I want to do is I want to get it quite far forward so that the protectors on the Taycan don't get in view of the GoPro but I still want to be able to access these screws at the front. I think that's right. just want to make sure that this fits on the base without any overhang. So if we look at it from that angle there is no overhang. It's also not the right height as well. So I need to bring it down a touch. So let's just do that. There we go. Yeah, that should be fine. Doesn't really have to be perfect as long as it is sat on the base. So let's look either side. Yeah, we do have just a little bit of over hang on either side so what I'm going to do is on the snap grid I'm going to change it to 0.1 millimeters and if I just select that middle bit that I'm just going to bring it in it doesn't matter it is changing the scale slightly but it doesn't matter on this axis so much so let's just bring that out yeah 
that looks about right just in line uh, do you know what just to be safe I might just bring it in just a little bit more like that and the same on the other side as well so we are about there something like that now a little bit more on this side you can spend much longer doing this than me if you want it perfect but that looks okay so this time I can group both of those like that so if I press group and then that becomes one I should just have access to the screw holes and there is just one last thing that I want to do and that is to cut this part off here so that I can use all of the hero cameras put a strap through there all the way around the camera and that should be fine so once again I'm gonna take my hollow box there and just lift it up like that and just move this across so I can just sort of move it like that and I also need to cover the top of it as well yeah it's not quite enough but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to try and set it at the same angle as this which should be 10 degrees or would it be minus 10 degrees at that angle let's try minus 10 like that oh there we go yep yeah, minus 10 and let's just see so yeah that's looking about right but I want to drop it down just a little bit more so that that part isn't in the way so I want it to probably about there and then group the whole thing ta-da there we go you see that's looking pretty good isn't it so now all of that is done it is ready to export so I'm going to export it as an STL file and I should be able to open it in Cura which is my slicing software it's a bit confusing why they call it slicing software but it's basically all of the settings that you want to set for your 3D printer. I tend to not mess around with those a lot for PLA because it's very easy to print but there you can see everything looking nice all of those lines that were there are gone and look at that one hour 35 minutes to print if this works that will be fantastic I'm not even going to use supports I think that should be fine that angle you see the red there that shows you where it thinks the printer's gonna have trouble but I'm gonna see how it comes out so I'm gonna save it to a removable drive put it in my 3d printer and see what it comes out like so here is the finished part screwed in and everything it's come out really well I've just added a little bit of this spare grippy stuff from the battery mat that comes with the diatone Taycan so uh, we have got a Hero 8 here and that fits in nice and snug no problems I'll use the included strap that comes with the Taycan to go around it and the same with the Hero 7 like that absolutely superb so there you go that is my video on how to remix 3d printed parts if you liked it then give me a thumbs up and as always thanks so much for watching please continue to subscribe cheers